Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how many plays on TV do you need to make a thousand rand? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Now from the very get-go, getting music onto TV is a slightly trickier than streaming per se, because with streaming, you just go with an aggregator such as DistroKid and you'd get your music on there. But with TV, it's a little trickier, a lot more networking is involved and there are multiple ways to go about getting on there. But I'm not here to explain how to go about doing that. What I'm here is to just show you how many plays or seconds you need to get a thousand rand from TV placements. I'm gonna head over to my PC and explain more or less where these prices come from, how you can get them every year, and how many seconds you probably need to make a thousand rand. I'm gonna head over to my PC and show you step by step how to do that. What's up? So the very first thing that you want to do is head over and sign up to my mailing list to get regular updates, but that's not where we are now. You want to go to capasso.co.za. Um, my website scalemusicsa.com forward slash free guides and then you can get these two guides um, but anyway so while well, that's busy loading okay this is the capacitor website so what you want to look for is the 2022 rate card um, mechanical royalties are typically what people think of when it comes to sync so the first place you want to go to is capasso it's actually a very good resource for that type if that's where you want to get into um, but there's actually pretty much no need for calculations because as you will see shortly the rates that these rates just to be clear these rates are the rates that if i want to use someone else's music so if if a company wants to use my music this is the rate card i would refer to them to or if i was a publishing entity if i had my own library this is what i would send them to and forward them the, the prices. So this is the price they give Capasso. Capasso probably takes an administration free, which I'm not too certain about. And then after the fact, that money goes to you. But if you're part of a music library, the music library will take its percentage cut anywhere between 20 to 50%, and then they'll give you the, the remaining 50%. Um, I've worked with several um, publishing companies, um, music publishers, music libraries in South Africa, and more or less, that is where they are. So let's actually go through the categories. There's actually no need for me to even calculate here, um, but I just wanted to show you more or less what you're getting. So for TV advertising, so if in between a TV show, you know, there's the ad break, this is more or less the price that they have to pay. So 6,615. This is just for South Africa, a single country in a South, a single African country. So if you're in South Africa, this is actually what they'd pay, 6,615. Slightly less um, for radio, slightly more for cinema. But what you want to highlight is how long the song is actually playing. So if you ever timed, had a habit of timing advertising, they are usually slightly just below 30 seconds. So 29 seconds, 55 more or less. So you're only getting 30 seconds ever playing on an advert. But the key is um, it's you get paid per production. But you also want to look through, they actually give you a dummy calculation over here. So let me just read it out. Add to, let me just zoom in there, Chingo's hunger. You're just abusing people's eyes. Yes, I am. So same same music, same campaign, 800% for the same music used in a series of productions. So if you're using the same song, um, let's say MTN has a campaign for summer, yellow summer, and they got the same song because they want to keep the advertising almost the same aesthetic feel, then this is how much you'd pay. Um, you just multiply it by 200% and this is how much the campaign rate would be. So if your song is part of a campaign, you will definitely be taking home quite a bit of cash. Um, I'll probably actually want to get someone in from Capasso to actually give us a, a, a better breakdown of how I'm explaining this. But in general, getting a thousand rand is not so difficult from TV. The, the difficult part is making music that the production houses want to use. Um, online, everything's literally above a thousand rand. Yeah. Um, advertising, infomercial, slightly more for more minutes, obviously. Uh, airplane, I think was the only one that was fairly low for 30 seconds. You know, when you're in an airplane, oh, 
maybe you don't know but sometimes on airplane there's music playing as you walk in or when you put your headphones in some airplanes have like a screen and then you listen and then there's some music playing typically some relaxing music so if you're doing hip-hop or something like that that's probably not where you'd be landing um yeah they go again with their campaign film programming it's another one so um this one's actually very interesting per production so for the first 30 seconds you have to pay 420 so this is let's say you're watching um for example if you're watching uh generations if it's still around you're watching generations and then there's some background music since that music is not the main main um main attraction it's just there in the background they that's why they pay a little less so for the first 30 seconds you're only going to get 420 420 so that's like you have to get this played for a minute and a half to break that would be 1280 60 sorry 1260 and then 30 seconds so you just need the song 30 seconds of the song to play three times or if you get the full song to be played then you're ready 2000 up so there's a there's a lot you can keep on going through this list but in general you it's safe to actually say uh oh another thing these tv stations have a blanket license okay so there's no charge for this music to be played so they don't actually have to pay for these they've got a blanket license and then you get uh, a section from the mechanical royalties that are being generated but in like what i'm trying to show you is may there's there's a hidden market in tv and film that actually could be better off for the type of music that you're making than streaming or the other uh, the what everyone wants what everyone wants is streaming what everyone wants is to be on a stage a million fans screaming but the reality is only one point zero one percent of people will get there but if you actually spend a day watching tv it's actually a habit I've gotten into, bad habit, but nonetheless, you watch TV and then you listen when the adverts come in, you listen to the type of music that's being played. If you're listening on the TV, if you're watching on TV, if you hear music, take make a mental note of what you're hearing to see if that music kind of fits what you kind of do. So I make, typically I make um, piano music sometimes. So when I was listening out, they usually, in South African TV anyway, there are some droney, when you're watching during the tv show there's some journey some background music being played but then there's also some emotional music being played where they do cue in a few notes from the piano those don't play for a lot of seconds to be fair um like over here if you see um 30 seconds so those those scenes don't usually last long so you have to rack up a lot of those 30 seconds to start getting in but um, spend some time with this. I just wanted to share the resource. Um, I thought I should put it up on my channel because, um, yeah, it's it's information that I think musicians should be looking into. And another another tip, um, Capasa was nice enough to put in a list of publishers that they recommend. I guess these are uh, music production owners slash agents. Um, I've actually noticed two, three of them. Um, what you want to do is kind of link the type of music you make to the library. So if your library makes a, a specific type of music, go to that specific library, see if they have that music in their library, all the websites are on here. And then if you think your music would fit, you contact the library. Contact details are also on here. So there's literally nothing that you don't have access to. Everyone has access to it. It's just that this document was probably made for people who want to use music. It's just that now you are the music creator, so you have to work backwards. But um, yeah, that concludes this. Um, really an overview kind of a grasp at it. Um, I didn't really need to calculate anything because you can see how much money you make from these placements. Um, they're not so easy to make and then finding a good publisher that matches your your production needs. Um, I actually got my first check from placements last year in March and I'm waiting for another one. Um, but like the first year, three, the checks are usually smaller. So people say, unless you hit a home run and you get exactly what's wanted. Um, and I went through I went through a music publisher, a uh, music library. So 
whatever I get is really got a percentage and I'm not allowed to disclose um, the percentage cut. But um, in general, if you have time, you can build the relationships yourself. If you don't have time and you're not the most good with interacting with people, it's probably to your benefit to get a music publisher or a publisher to do the negotiating and getting you the placements. For at the end of the day, they already have a clientele. You can build that up or you can get someone else like these music uh, libraries here at the end. But yeah, hope you found this useful. If you'd like to see how many streams you need to make a thousand rand, watch this video.